you know, what's the compromise here? I mean, how do you actually get out of this? And one of the things that we've been urging both sides is that the Democrats agree to the Republicans' uh, proposal uh, to, um, to uh, allocate all resources, including member items, to the, give everyone the same amount, equally. Equal you know, they had a chance to do that, the Democrats, when they took over That's in right. January. And no, this we wouldn't have that. happened. Oh, no, I understand that. And arguably, this would not have happened, this coup that finally took place. They promised the sweeping reforms. They delivered virtually nothing. And uh, that's why I think there's a re reluctance right now to do it, partly because they think down the road, the Democrats do, that there are going to be more and more Democrats, fewer and fewer Republicans, and they don't want to commit to giving them those kinds of resources. But, but I think if you're trying to get through this and get something done, you have to move off of preconceived well, you know, positions on just, this. And just on that point, though, let me interrupt, sure. because there are mechanics that are very serious on it, dealing with who the Secretary of the Senate that's is, right. and how do you apportion equally those resources? Who's going to make those decisions? It's a Republican position, backed up by 32 votes, I would right. say, that they should be making those decisions through the administration of the Senate since they had a majority vote. Democrats obviously don't recognize that. They, Republicans don't trust Angelo Aponte. I think that's for sure, the Secretary of the Senate. So even implementing what you're talking about, an equal distribution of resources, requires a lot of people to do that. And right now, they don't have agreement on who they would be. That's right. But, I mean, you build from the bottom up. You make an agreement, either codified, that you're going to distribute member items equally, which has been a big problem for years. You, do, you say that every senator is going to get resources. You start to discuss how you're going to allocate the committees. As you work your way to the tougher questions, you can build a, it's like any negotiation, you build a level of trust, people get used to working with each other, it's easier to tackle the more difficult questions. That, that seems to me like a key way to kind of bridge the differences between the conferences.